Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at something new that is not really talked about much on this channel, which is a double gauge model, and today I'm going to review the Medari Works C16 locomotive. It's been quite a while since the last video and uh, this one is pretty different seriously guys i really want to make video but i just don't have time this is just my only time to make videos because i'm going to have an exam next week and last week the last two weeks has been a lot of tests no actually uh three weeks almost a month so yeah school's just definitely been taking a lot of toll on me and plus i also don't have many video ideas so uh yeah now i've promised to you guys i will be finishing bear and he is finished but uh i just don't have the mood to finish editing the video Plus, I've also promised to you guys the duck video, so that will definitely come. Also, the bear video will also definitely come. But not now. I just wanted to review this first. So, I've been really bored with Tommy stuff. Because they are not so detailed. I tried so hard making them look realistic. But uh, nothing just... Uh, I just can't do anything. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I want something more realistic, but don't worry, uh, all of my Tommy customs, I will be showing off to you guys, uh, but I just wanted to move to double gauge stuff. Anyways, let's talk about this guy. So, I purchased this model for a rel relatively cheap price, it's only around 17 pounds. Uh, of course, I bought it in Indonesian rupiah, which is 329,000 rupiah, which is pretty expensive actually, uh, especially with this quality. The quality on this is definitely not the best. Now, Medari Works is not really a big company. It's just a private-owned business, of course. Uh, owned by a single person uh, but it has a few employees but uh, yeah um, it also exports some some models into out of Indonesia uh, if you want you can contact their Instagram uh, they have done a few exports they say to Europe and America now they use 3d printers to make these models so bear in mind that uh this entire thing is made out of plastic uh there's no die cast here so uh, expect uh very low quality anyways let's take a look at the details so whilst this thing is entirely made out of plastic well not entirely because there's uh, screws there but uh, uh, most of it are made out of plastic there are a few separately fitted details the funnel here seems to be separately fitted As you can see here uh, there are some glue marks there which is uh, not really good but uh, it's not really noticeable uh, also, the dome here is also separately fitted. And this pipe here, I think it is paper clip. Might be wrong. It might be 3D printed, but uh, it's separately fitted. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can look up here. You can put my finger inside there. Yes. It is separately fitted. The couplers here. 
they are separately fitted and they are accurate to the actual coppers. Sorry, my camera here is doing very trash stuff. Just kind of focus, come on. There are also chains here on both sides. I mean, on front and the back. There are chains. Uh, they are not really glued on properly, but they are actual chains. Uh, yeah. Um, it's not really n noticeable as a real chain because the glue here, uh, I think this model is really uh, rushed up when being produced. There are a lot of glue marks and, and one thing I want to talk about this is that this wheel here, uh, the, the wheels here, they are dummies which means they can move but they are not designed to be moved. Because as you can see here, they are so stiff, uh, they barely even move here. You can see the side rods just jammed. And, okay, I'm going to talk about the problems later. I'm going to talk about the good stuff first. The number plate here is separately fitted. But it's only a sticker, but it is printed on a card. So, it's not etched or anything. But they are printed in a pretty good quality. Come on. Uh, there are a few separately fitted parts again. Uh, these pipe works, they are separately fitted. It goes all the way through inside, which uh, definitely, definitely is separately fitted. So that's all of the separately fitted parts. I think the boiler is also separately fitted. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the bad stuff. So, when this arrived, this coupler broke. I, I re-glued it. It's not, it's not the best. I mean, the store also supplies a spare uh, coupler. But, uh, these broke. Come on. And the wheels also come off. Because, uh, I don't know, they are done in a hurry, I think. And and I think this is a fault with the 3D rendering. Because I think the coupler might be too long. Just a millimeter. Look at that. Uh, yeah, you can notice it, probably. Uh, it's just one millimeter longer than it's supposed to be. Which makes it jam a lot. I just cannot handle it because no, it's stuck. Because it's really, really long. I mean, it's not really long. I mean, uh, it's too long. And you can see here the wheels just come off because I haven't glued that on. Uh, yeah, the wheels just come off. Uh, not to mention that uh, on the picture that the seller gave, uh, the wheels, the side rod, all of them had screws attached to all of the wheels, whilst this one doesn't, which is definitely a quality problem there. So that's the problem with the quality, and also the fact that this entire thing is plastic. And uh, yeah, because this entire thing is printed on resin, it's not the most strongest thing in the world. And let's talk about the decoration. So this is not the original condition that came. So when it came, this pipework, this whistle, are not painted. They are just black and boring, which is a problem because on the picture uh, that the seller gave, uh, it has a painted. Uh, pipework and the lamp is not properly painted I repainted this this original paint work was very bad as you can see here they are there are no cap details it's just empty on the inside and I've just realized that the sticker the nameplate I mean number plate on the back here is misaligned 
here uh, it's not it's not really on the middle it's quite uh, uh, I don't know what to say but that's just doesn't line up with the coupler here it's not really on the middle so that is quite disappointing I also forgot to mention that the smokebox door doesn't have any door handles or anything it's just empty uh, yeah that is really disappointing but I think uh, for such a small scale uh, that would probably be too risky too easy to broke uh, using 3d printer so uh, that's forgivable I guess and if you pre-order one of these you get a random number for example I forgot to put a note for the number so they just gave me this number which is not a preserved number so technically this loco is not a preserved loco so this gives me gives me more urge to weather this loco uh, and remove all that gloss but yeah the finishing here is gloss so so what are my final thoughts well uh this model is pretty nice actually uh it's definitely not the most detailed it's definitely uh, not the best quality but it does the job and this thing is not for layout use it's, it's just for static display um yeah uh i'll, I'll read this uh 8 out of 10 uh, the price is definitely uh, not the best it could be cheaper uh, but yeah it's pretty good for what it is uh, it's a pretty good deal uh, and the details on this loco uh, it's not bad it's actually pretty neat I'm just really disappointed at the cab area there there's nothing inside not not even molded ones but yeah uh it is what it is uh that's my review thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>